Hi, this is Dirk Young from Boris FX. Um, someone was asking about doing a, um, a chroma key with a drop shadow in Avid. And one way of using doing that is using Boris Continuum Complete. And so I was just going to do a quick uh, quick demo of that. So here I have, you know, a person in front of a green screen. There's some background. And um, this is Media Composer 6, BC8. But the same basic procedure would be true for a previous version. So I'm going to throw a chroma key on there and go into effects mode. And the key defaults to using a blue color, um, but let me grab some green. And I can see here, show matte. So you can see any places, you know, like down here, it looks like I might wanna adjust the lightness, the matte a bit. Generally, you know, working between, um, the way you, you adjust our key is you, you're kind of working between density um, and like this until you get something, something good. And this is sort of a balance that's sort of a tweaker between the two of those. So, um, there's the composite. Now, if that's really all you need, then down here is a drop shadow group and I'm going to say enable drop shadow. And there you have a drop shadow and this drop shadow has some nice controls, control the distance, um, intensity is like the opacity of the shadow softness. Um, so there you have that. Also built in here um, to be able to do this without affecting the background are some geometrics. So if I go in here and say, you know, I can scale him down and put him down like that if necessary. Um, so that's the simplest case. And however, there are cases, let me just disable this um, drop shadow for now, where you might want to stack additional effects on top of the keyed layer without affecting the background layer. And there's a there's a useful way to be able to do that too. And here, this title map group, um, you can say multi-filter start, which I just enabled there. And then um, let's say I go into this lights group. It can be you know any kind of crazy effect. I'm gonna alt drag something on top of there. And then if I go in here and say multi-filter end, um, you know, now I'm, uh, now I'm basically affecting only the foreground without, without the background. Um, so that multi-filter uh, feature is useful as well. Um, another was kind of more common case, I just deleted that light effect might be let's say to do um, some color adjustments. So if I alt drag a color balance effect on there, and again, go into this title map group and say multi-filter end. Now I could say, pull a little bit of red out of the image and give it a little blue. And so there it's kind of matching. If I mix with original, you see matching the background a little better. And then at this level, of course, I could also, um, you know, reposition that enable drop shadow. Um, and you can even actually give the, uh, the shadow you know, some kind of another color if you wanted, as opposed to black. No, that doesn't look so great, but anyway, so that's um, that's how you do a drop shadow on a key using Boris Continuum Complete.